Let's go ahead and stir the pot a little, shall we? Last Friday, 10 minutes before dismissal time, I decided to live stream my students helping me take my hair out. There was quite the discourse in the chat, which had people saying this was inappropriate, and other people saying this was completely fine, there was nothing wrong with what I was doing, and people were just making it weird. You want all these young girls around you doing your hair, like you want their attention. Mm. And why do you need their attention as a grown man? My my child don't know how to read. <laughs> like, 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 I did not send my kid to school to take out this grown man's hair. Welcome to It Takes Two. I'm Blair. I'm Chris. And today we have another scenario for what is the scenario. Hey, this video been making its rounds around the internet. We finally going to talk about it. Check this video out. Let's go ahead and stir the pot a little, shall we? Last Friday, 10 minutes before dismissal time, I decided to live stream my students helping me take my hair out. There was quite the discourse in the chat, which had people saying this was inappropriate and other people saying this was completely fine. There was nothing wrong with what I was doing and people were just making it weird. So of course I had to bring this issue to the big stage. I would like to represent myself in this case, Your Honor, if I may. Number one, for a little context, I had a hair appointment immediately after school and I needed my hair taken out beforehand. I would have taken it out the night before, but that Friday we had a camera crew coming in to shoot a promotional video and I was one of the ones being interviewed, so I had to look presentable so I didn't take my hair out. I didn't have the time to do it all myself because it would have taken me forever, so naturally I asked about four or five of my over a hundred best friends to assist me in taking my hair out and they all agreed. Number two, this was at the end of class. This week we were doing STEM fair presentations. Since it was Friday and all of my students did an excellent job on their STEM fair projects and presentations, I told them if we get one solid presentation in this class, I'll end class a little early and they can have fun and play basketball, darts, or be on their phones or whatever. And during that time, my team would help me take my hair out. A couple of these were students from my class, but others were students from other classes. I wrote all of them a pass at the beginning of the class period, requesting their assistance 10 minutes before dismissal. I told the teachers only send them if all of their work was completed and they had good behavior. They all met the criteria, so 10 minutes before dismissal, they showed up for their job. My next point I'd like to make is, if I was a female teacher, those people wouldn't be in the comments saying, oh, this is weird, this is inappropriate. Because me personally, I don't think there's anything weird about this. People are saying, oh, that's too intimate. To me, it's literally just hair. It doesn't have to be weird. Some people have never had cool teachers and it shows. I personally believe that building authentic relationships with students is paramount in being an effective teacher. I make sure my students know and can feel that I care about them beyond the schoolwork and all the stuff that I have to make them do. I take the time to get to know my students outside of academics because caring for the whole child is what's important. So Blair. Yes. You at work. Yes. Right? You're just on TikTok, just doing your thing. You know how y'all be at work, you know? Uh -huh. Okay. And <laughs> not me. <laughs> and you just so happen to see, oh, that's my kid's teacher. Okay, cool. W what the heck? Blair Jr. taking out his braids. Mm -hmm. What is your reaction to that? Imagine if that was your kid or something like that. I, I would not be happy with that. Me neither. At <laughs> all. I, I would probably, one, talk to my child to say, don't be doing stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I probably would be the Karen uh -oh. who would call the school up to want to have a conference with the teacher and try to figure out why he thinks that's appropriate to have kids doing that in the classroom. Facts. So I, I would want to have a conversation with that teacher. You see, the thing that makes me upset about this video, it's not even so much. Well, the video does make me it's like it's not upset, but I'm like disturbed by it a little bit. Yeah. But what makes me upset is people's reaction to it. Like there is literally like a split of people say there's nothing wrong with it. He just she, the, the girl's just taking out this grown man's hair. Uh -huh. And I'm just like. My my child don't know how to read. <laughs> like, like, like I did not send my kid to school to take out like this grown man's hair dude you think i you see the problem is people don't want to take accountability okay right when he posted that video i think he said something like let me stir the pot and then that's oh really and, well guess what that pot got hot and he lost his job you yeah know what i'm saying so i'm like i don't really get the explanation he was talking about something like you know this is how i build closeness with my 
with my students. This is how, you know, we build that great teacher and, 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 and student relationship and things of that nature. I'm like, find another way. Like what happened to movies, worksheets, <laughs> if, if we really don't have nothing to do in class? Um, even let the girls braid each other's hair. Like, I don't know why we're doing that with the teacher. I, I just don't. I, I'm not someone who gets it and, and I, I wouldn't be with I it. I don't even want my kid touching mm -hmm. another kid's hair. Honestly. I don't want my kid touching <laughs> nobody. Dude, you know what's funny? What? I share a little life experience, right? Mm -hmm. I, I'm i sure everybody have a favorite teacher. Do like a favorite teacher stand out to you? Yes. Right? I had a, t a teacher named Miss Burnett, right? Mm -hmm. Third grade. Not once did she ever touch me. Yeah. Not once did I ever touch her hair. Not not once did she ever cross that professional or even personal boundary of, like, touching me in any way. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But yet, I still think about that teacher in my 30s. Right. Yet, that's my favorite teacher. I just feel like there are lines to be like hard lines that shouldn't be crossed. But I think I know what the perception and what everybody's problem is. They view him as not threatening. He's just a skinny man. You get what I'm saying? Small and things like that. And they're like, oh, no, what's wrong with it? And I'm just like, I don't send. My kids still can't read. Okay. My kids still can't write. They said there is a there is an epidemic that kids will not be able to read and write. Okay. I am not trying to fear monger you, but I was an assistant principal, I was a middle school teacher, and I was a high school teacher. And I need you to know, America is in a literacy crisis, and they're not making a big enough deal about it. Our children cannot read. Our children cannot read, let alone writing a paragraph, let alone comprehension. They cannot read. They do not know how to sound words out. They were not taught that. And if you're wondering, well, then why, do my, why does my kid just keep getting passed on to the next grade? Because that's what they're doing now. They're not holding the children back. They're moving them on. They're graduating them, knowing that your child is illiterate. Our next change makers, our next lawmakers, our next voters cannot read. I beg of you, take the tablets and the cell phones away. Practice letter recognition and sounds and reading with your child, please. So I'm like, hey, let's focus on the fundamentals of actually like teaching my kids something, sending them to school. I don't want them touching your hair. He says something across the lines of, you know, I had a hair appointment today, so I needed to take my braids out. Take the day off. <laughs> take them off. You're, you're going to the hair salon. Yeah, but no, I understand because some places you can't go in with your hair braided. Like you need to have your hair unbraided, washed, all these other types of rules. I mean, we could go into a whole nother scenario oh, okay. about the stylist. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not even faulting him for, okay, you're going to go to the hair salon. No, like take a day off, take a few hours off. If this is something you really need to do, don't involve your students in their class time. Now, I understand. I mean, I've been a student before where you have some classes to where it's towards the end of the year. Y'all really aren't doing much. You finish the curriculum that's my thing of just find something else to do find a movie find a worksheet bring in some board games I mean even that I'm still just kind of like okay do we need to be playing games in the classroom but I get it if we're kind of pretty much done you know what I'm saying um but I don't see how we're taking up the time to be in close proximity personal space with our teachers and to kind of go off a personal story for me like one of my favorite teachers I think she was like a fourth grade teacher of mine mm. but it's, she it, it, it's always uh -huh. that range it's always <laughs> that third to sixth range yeah. yeah but she was just a very nice lady yeah um she had us do a lot of different interactive activities and had us go outside for mm -hmm. different things so to me that's the type of stuff that builds closeness and relationships now i understand these kids are a lot older and when it comes to like the teenage i don't know if they were high school middle no, school i think they were like, like middle school kids middle they, school they kids like probably like 12 mm -hmm. maybe maybe 13 but these are still very impressionable kids right. not 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 teenagers a lot of teenagers like, I, ain't, I ain't touching your head you know what i'm saying so like <laughs> it, it, it was kids yeah so for me like middle schoolers i think that the biggest thing for them would be like communication actually having somebody who mm. listens to them and cares about what they say because a lot of adults are probably just like you don't really know nothing and you'd be whining all the time yeah. you know 
<laughs> so I, I understand building a bond in a relationship with your students because also you want them to respect you in the classroom. Mm-hmm. Um, I heard somewhere also that he had asked like some teachers who were in another classroom to mm. allow those students to come to help with his hair. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's one of the stories I heard circulating around this story. That's weird. And to me, to those teachers, I'm just kind of like, like y'all just get to do whatever y'all want, huh? <laughs> like. <laughs> Just allow the students to leave the classroom to do his hair and stuff like that. So I, I just thought that it was inappropriate. And I get some people saying they don't mind. I guess my thing too is like, why are you posting it online? Mm. Um, I think that's a bad look. Um, I don't know why you would want your face out there like around children in close cool. proximity like that. So why even post it? To me, that's very much a te- attention seeking. No, it was because um, he he said he wanted to stir the pot. Right. right. Yep. And then it also speaks to me the fact that you want all these young girls around you doing your hair like you want their attention. Mm. And why do you need their attention as a grown man? That's what I'm saying. Like, so the lines is too blurred. And you know? to me, it can cross over into grooming. You it know is. what I'm saying? So trying to, and that's what people say when they're in these situations of like, oh, it started off innocent mm-hmm. or, you know, it was nothing um, ever like weird or funny at mm-hmm. first. But mm-hmm. it's just those little things where you get people comfortable until you get them to do something uncomfortable. Yeah. Now, I don't know the guy's intentions. I think a video came out to where like he was like lusting over some teenager in the bathroom. I saw that video. Oh, well- um was that like a real video you seen? Yeah. Things of, like that? Yeah. Of him. Okay. Like it was like a clip that he um, stitched with a girl who was like in middle school and was like talking about her body or something mm. like that. So, I mean, I think facts are out there enough to let us know like, yeah, he don't probably need to be around kids. But if it was just the hair thing alone, that still would be too much for me. No. Listen mm-hmm. here. I don't even know nothing about all the stitching and stuff that Blair just, just brought up. Just the hair alone would make me go, yeah, you're fired and things like that. Because you can't identify grooming like like it's not so black and white right you get what i'm saying Mm -hmm. so just that alone i'm like the fact that you for one you put my kid on on live stream and things like that like stop but i'm happy that tiktok and all these things are out because finally we get to see what these weird people doing yeah and things like that number two as i said before in the beginning of the video my kid still reads with like their finger going towards each line so they don't need to be doing no hair she needs to keep reading until the last day of the school okay you get what i'm saying or he needs to keep reading until the last day of the school and then three you're not like their age like 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 there's something to an authoritative figure being there mr williams mr jones and stuff like that like like it's not a first name basis i don't think there is a way that you can teach well and actually like do your job to the best of your ability if you blur that line between student and teacher okay like it's it's just not fair did like you feel bad at all about the video of him crying online about how he lost his job and how he go miss his student no (sighs) during this time Hey, bestie. I really hope that you see this message. How are you? I hope that you're okay. Because that's that's a learning lesson for him. Sometimes in life we get hard and tough learning lessons. So now you know not to do dumb stuff like that or at least post it on the internet. So, but at the same time, I heard some of it and he was reading out the kids' uh, letters weird. to him it's just weird and, and all this type of stuff. So I don't even know if he really learned his lesson. Like, <laughs> I think he was thinks he was wronged in some type of way. So hopefully reality will hit him upside the head at some point. No, so. it, it's, it's definitely... It's, It goes back to this attention seeking social media thing of how we all addicted to it in some way to where he couldn't he couldn't even lose his job in in private. Right. You get what I'm saying? He had to let us know I lost my job. And I guess he wanted some type of uproar that we go get behind him and be like, oh, no, it was innocent. No, let's be real. The reason why y'all think it's innocent because y'all don't view him as threatening. You get what I'm saying? But I view all of it as threatening because you crossed that line to where my daughter and things like that touching your hair. I understand Blair talked about like at some salons, they may ask you to pay extra to take out uh, your hair and braids and make sure it's washing all that stuff. If you can't afford that, cut your hair. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Like, like go bald. You know, there was a time I was bald because I was like, I'm tired of doing my hair. So I'm like, there, there's no excuse and things like that, you know? Yeah, there's also um, this theory going around, and I want to know your thoughts about it, mm-hmm. of people saying that he wanted to be possibly an internet celebrity. 
Mm-hmm. And so he put this out here. And by what you're saying with um, stirring the pot, if he posted it with that on there, that it sounds like video, yep. it sounds like it maybe it was his intention to get an uproar so he can get a huge following and start promoting whatever the hell he might be promoting or, or trying to do and have an Internet career instead of actually having to go to work. Well, guess what? You mm-hmm. are you are famous now. You are Internet famous now. Yeah, you are now a fan. And if you don't know what the acronym of a fan is, listen to the Kendrick Lamar "Not Like Us" video. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're you're weird. Yeah. You're freaky. You get freaky frog. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like so, it's it just this whole thing. If you're if if it's true what you said, Blair, mm-hmm. about him chasing fame, where he should be che- teaching my children literature and things like that, then I don't want you to be a teacher anyway. Right. I don't want you in that profession because guess what? The thing about being a teacher is not about the glory. Right. It definitely ain't about the money. <laughs> you know yes. what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so my thing is it got to be about the kids, but in a healthy, correct way. With you know, boundaries. You know? Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anything else? No, that's all I got. What do y'all think about this scenario? Now I get to actually respond to some of y'all. I hope I find somebody in the comments that be like, <laughs> I don't see nothing wrong with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, actually, Actually, there was a mother of one of the children that came out um, and I'm saying it like it's the mom. I believe it's the mom. But some people be coming on the Internet just like to get clout or whatever. Mm -hmm. But if we go on by what she says, she was one of the mothers of the kids and she didn't find anything wrong with her child being posted and and unbraiding his hair and stuff like that. And I will ask Mm -hmm. that lady. Hopefully it is the mother, not somebody chasing clout. Are you a single mother or are you a mother where the father's in the house? Okay. Because I would say no man would want their daughter taking out another man's hair while that kid's at school. So, if, if I was to walk in and see my daughter taking out another man's hair at school, I'd be like, I don't even let you touch my hair. Uh-huh. Come here. You know what I'm saying? Like, like no, 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 yeah. no. Yeah. Somebody said her brain was full of beans. And I was okay. like, that sounds about right. <laughs> no, it, it just. That it, sounds about right. Because you don't view. You don't view him threatening Mm -hmm. and i'm not putting no uh, and i promise i'm not putting no i'm not putting nothing on his name yeah the video is enough but it's 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 prideful of us to think that we can recognize like people that like are interested in kids do you you get what i'm saying Mm -hmm. but but if that was the case then kids would never be in the situations that they unfortunately be in you get what i'm saying yeah If, if we can identify them clearly but we can't right you're gonna and, and unfortunately some kids fall through the crack and this is one way that i'm gonna make sure that no kid in that school i'm gonna be a male karen okay I, i'm gonna be ken and karen right right and be like <laughs> i want a conference with that grown man yeah you get up yeah saying? i gotta talk to him yeah 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 mm-hmm. you ain't you ain't gonna have me over here like drake father right you get up saying to where like i kind of feel something but i'm quiet no 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 i'm talking about quiet on set just 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 in case y'all don't know what I'm right about. but i'm just saying like no you you have to protect your kids and be overly careful. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But in the comments below, please let me know what y'all think about this video. If this is your first time seeing the video, please let me know what y'all think. Initial reaction. Be honest. You get what I'm saying? I'm only going to yell at you if you don't agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? No. Also, right here. This is where you can send your scenarios if you want us. And when I say us, we mean the community. You know, the It Takes Two crew is what I, I, I don't really like the crew at the end. It, I love it. I it, think that's it a great rhymes. name. It rhymes. It's too, it's too it simple. It works to me. It, it's, it's crew. Everybody just say their channel name and put crew at the end of it. I want to be different. Okay. I want to give y'all <laughs> a unique name. So until It Takes You. Okay. okay. <laughs> maybe. Or maybe we just get away from the Dr. Seuss rhyming and things like okay. that. Okay. But no. Um. I definitely want to know what y'all think. This is where y'all can send the scenarios and we catch y'all next time. Bye.